What's up guys, welcome to the channel, Seabear and today I'll show the results of the weekend in Sorare. It was a disappointed weekend, I'm not gonna lie, I'm, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. Um, leave a like and subscribe if you like the content and I'll jump in straight into the results. Wait, I'll jump straight into the results of course. On Sorare data, I don't know why I hadn't hadn't it open already. I'll just show the two lineups from midweek. Um, as you see, not one score over the 80 and then you know it's gonna be difficult, especially if you play Challenger Europe or Captain 70 or Asia also. Um, Challenger Europe started off really well. Deliver lost a clean sheet really early, but he still played really good. You see, 41 all around. The other defender handled it great as well. Uh, Sierra was disappointed, which I could have expected, but I didn't expect a 0-2 loss. Koita couldn't get a decisive, got a big chance created in the last minute, but uh, it got missed, it was such a good chance, but yeah, otherwise probably also no reward, he was my captain. And Watson conceded free, like uh, an hour before the deadline, uh, Sefla Brugge released a message that three of their main, uh, of their starting 11 players are injured, so of course Sefla was going to have it difficult, um, so no reward there. Captain Sandy was uh, not throwaway, but just yeah, the players I, I had in another lineup. Uh, Van der Berge did okay, 50, and then the gang boys uh, who played against Antwerp. Munja scored in the last last minute of the game, uh, but this all run was not good, of course. Uh, 12 uh, goals conceded and a lot of possession was. There was also Kempen still played mid as well, and Schreeuw's forward card did a bit better, but not good enough. Kept to 40, was really painful. Um, Bollard kept a clean sheet, which was really good. Uh, Boca conceded in the last minutes or last two minutes, which lost him 14 points, and he was my captain. Uh, Parejo did all right, almost 20 all around, but then uh, a narrow led to goal, got added. Rosowski did not good, and Mila did not good. Uh, Boca kept a clean sheet, and Parejo didn't got the error led to goal, or probably had uh, the threshold, but yeah, if, if, if. And then uh, kept to 20, which was a really strong lineup in my opinion. Uh, Lopez, Lopez did okay, almost 60. Thiago did okay, Mackenzie played not good, of course. Three goals conceded, difficult game. Uh, Castro got a red card, I just wasn't really following the game, I clicked on it and I saw he got a red card. Kimball Soup uh, played today, uh, almost 50, I mean decent, got a big chance created, shot on target. Then Champion Asia, big disappointment that Incheon lost 3-1, uh, but yeah, if you saw the lineup. Kim Dong Min did the future, uh, I don't know, the manager is just doing weird things, he thinks a uh, player can't play. Uh, two games in a row, um, and yeah, this defense you see it penalty conceded error led to goal. Uh, I mean, error led to goal and on goal. Uh, yeah, Kim Dong Yun also, yeah, 12 scored then. On Poco did okay, Kim De York scored. Mughals also ghosted a bit, 75 points off, and also a limit was just for the Sora coins. Uh, I think that was it. Yep, yep, yep. So, yeah, this is you know, like this time was really disappointing game week, but some difficult matchups like my gang boys. And Incheon also had a yeah difficult matchup. Uh, let's get over to the midweek then. A uh, short video today because yeah no reward opening. Uh, kept to 40. I hope to get it. Last time Yang played in the midweek, I caught it as well when they played at home against Fer and Schwaros. Moon is my captain. Uh, Zakira picked his jersey mint up for I think it was like the same price as his normal card, so that's really nice. I could pick up yes you see here jersey mint for just the uh, usual price, so that's really really nice. Uh, and Painsel, don't know if he'll play, I guess he will play, but he's a, yeah, he had a small injury, but I think he'll play, Parejo will also play, so 4-man threshold, hope I'm in. Captain 20, Ederson in goal, Gilberto Tom is my captain, and Rososki and Sakiri as well. But um, yeah, Murillo apparently had a game, but it got postponed or yeah, just replaced, I don't know why, I don't also don't really care because this is a really weak lineup. Um, so yeah, I also want to do a quick update on Sora because yeah it takes not that long because I don't have any re uh, rewards on uh, what the game is doing. Uh, Rivals is added like now two weeks, two weeks in but it is closed beta. I got an invite from someone so I'll make a video on how Rivals works and how I think it's gonna impact the game and overall if they want to yeah to get new users playing Rivals and maybe also play the pro competitions. Also Sora added two days ago the instant buy future where now you can um, just buy every player. I think it's almost every player. Just search for a player. Uh, Munoz, my gang lad. Uh, what am I doing? He was there even. Munoz, uh, buy now and you can buy him. Uh, literally, I think all cards. Maybe a few not. 
Um, they are above floor price. For example, Munoz, um, his floor is uh, 20 euros and this is uh, 34 euros. So that's a lot, but there are a lot of cards, cheap cards who are like a euro or two before uh, above their floor. But also like some some cards where so you can't really just predict the price and they're under the floor, but above the three days average and so. So I think it's a good future because as I said, in Rivals they added, I'm not gonna go into detail into that, but um, they really push uh, to buy these cards on the instant buy market in Rivals. Uh, if you play Rivals against another one or against friends, they really push it like you want to buy a pro player and then it gives also a bonus and rivals to get people from playing the rivals to actual playing so rare like so 5 uh, competitions and uh, also just a more stable market because now they can control the price the price a bit i don't know how much stock there is if i buy harry kane now is there still going to be a harry kane available is it not available for me but for others can i buy it and trade it immediately um but yeah, I think it's sorry. Just want to stabilize the market. Um, get yeah, I think people really want to overpay to get the first uh, owned collection bonus. Um, so yeah, so I'll make a video on the rivals thing. Also a video tomorrow, I think, on how my October went. And uh, leave your comments. What do you think of the new um, instant buy, new rivals? Let it know in the comments. And then I'll see you guys tomorrow or in another video. Bye.